In this video, we're going to look at changing the subject where we've got brackets or fractions involved. So the first one, we've got k equals 3, brackets p plus x. So the first thing I need to do is remove that 3 so I can get at that bracket. Now, 3 is multiplying the bracket, so I am going to do the opposite then to get rid of that 3, which is divide. So on the left-hand side, I'm just left with k over 3. And on the right-hand side, well, the 3 over 3, they cancel, so they disappear. So all I'm left with is p plus x. So there you go, I've got rid of that 3 and I've opened up that bracket. And that's p plus x, so um, I need to do the opposite to get rid of the p, put it onto the other side, so take away p, and I'm going to flip both sides now, so I'm going to get x is equal to k over 3 minus p, and there's my answer. Okay, let's look at the second example, x minus y all over d equals 5 over c. So to get the x first, I need to get rid of this d. So it's m dividing the bracket, the top line there. So let's multiply both sides by d. So on the left-hand side, the d's will just cancel. So I'm left with x minus y. And now on the right-hand side, 5 over c times d. Well, remember I can make d, d over 1. So I do 5 times d, which is 5d. c times 1 is 1c or c. Okay, so I've now got rid of that d, I've got rid of that fraction. All that's left is to move that minus y, so I'm just going to do the opposite, is taking away, so I add to both sides. And so I get x is equal to 5d over c plus y. Okay, last one here, y equals 5 eighths of x minus d. So I need to get rid of this 5 eighths first. I'm going to do it in two goes. I'm going to get rid of the 8 first. Well, that's dividing everything. So I'm going to multi multiply both sides by 8. So the left-hand side is going to be 8y. The 8s will cancel. That's sort of the point of doing it. And I'm going to be left with the right-hand side 5 brackets x minus d. Now I need to get rid of that 5. Well, it's multiplying the brackets, so I do the opposite, which is divide. So that will give me 8y over 5 is equal to x minus d. So all I need to do now is move that d while it's taking away so I'm going to add d to both sides. I'm going to flip over the equation to get x equals on the left-hand side, 8y over 5 plus d. And there's my answer. 